Erin, and this is Waiting Moose, where I talk to you <laughs> about books. Today, I'm doing my January wrap-up. I did not get to all the books that I wanted to this year that were actually on my TBR, but I read some that were not on my TBR. First thing I'm going to do while we sit here is like load up Goodreads so I can get an accurate list of the books that I read. <sighs> my books. So really there are three challenges that I'm doing. I started out with two challenges that I was doing and I finally accepted and admitted to myself that no, I was really doing three challenges. One of them less official, more of a, oh, hey, look, this is what I'm doing. <laughs> let's, let's make it something I continue doing. So the first thing I'm doing is called uh, Scale Your TBR Mountain. And it is a challenge on Goodreads. There is a group called The Challenge Factory and that's where I got this challenge from. Every month you are challenged, you, you get to pick how many books you're going to read every month uh, for this. And I picked three books a month because I thought at the very least I should be able to do that. I did not. I failed this month. I'm, I'm currently reading the third one. You pick a book that was added to your TBR in any year other than 2017, 2017 on... Um, Goodreads. So I've been a member of Goodreads since 2010, so a lot of my books come from um, yeah, 2010, 2011, some are more recent, but this month they were mostly 2010 and 2011, and I think one was 2012. So the books for this that I picked were Moonstone by Wilkie Collins, which I did finish um, on the 30th, so I was quite close on that one to not finishing. Hi Hank! My dog's like looking around the corner at me. Uh, so I did finish Moonstone. Uh, the next book that I wanted to read was, or the one I did finish, was Pocket Full of Rye. I finished that fairly early on in the month, which was awesome. It's Agatha Christie, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, actually, no, I didn't. That was a Miss Marple, and I'm not a big Miss Marple fan. And finally, I was supposed to read Curiosity Thrilled the Cat by Sophie Kelly. And because Moonstone took me so long, and I did the little detour off into Diversathon, I failed at Curiosity Thrilled the Cat. So I'm currently reading it. I will probably be by the end of tonight, about halfway through, so it's going to be done within the first few days of February, so I'm calling that a win because it's still getting knocked off my TBR. It's getting read. Whatever. It didn't get done in January. That's life. Also at Goodreads and the Challenge Factory, I am doing the really, really, really hard challenge. For this one, I picked five books. This month in January you had to pick five books that had, you had to read five books that had a man on the cover. And so I picked The Moonstone. <laughs> You're going to see that a few times on this wind up or wrap up uh, because it did. It's got a man on the cover. It's in some versions have Wilkie Collins on the cover. Some versions, some editions have um, some Indian men on the cover. Uh, the second book was A Pocket Full of Rye by Agatha Christie because, again, <laughs> there was a man on the cover. Live or Let Die by... Oh, it's a James Bond book. How did... Ian Fleming. So, uh, Live or Let Die by Ian Fleming was the third book. All three of those I read. Just so you know, I've read all three of those. Graveyard Books, Volume 1 and Volume 2, which were graphic novels. I read Volume 1, I did not get Volume 2, so I, I failed again. Failure! Failure bad. And then the third one that I'm unofficially doing <laughs> is I like big books. <laughs> That's what I'm calling it, because this year I seem to have placed a focus on reading books of 400, 450 pages and up. And in the month of, it wasn't really something I planned to do, but when I was looking at my to read for next month, as well as my January wrap up, there's a lot of big books that are on those lists. So in January, I read Cushiel's Dart, which has 900 pages. The Historian, which was somewhere around 700, I believe. The Three Body Problem, oh sorry, I should give, it's a Cushion's Dart by Jacqueline Carey, had 900 pages. The Historian by Elizabeth, Elizabeth Kostova had about 700 pages. And The Three Body Problem, which is a Chinese science fiction by Shikshen, 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 
Liu. I know I'm saying that wrong. I'm trying. That had about 400 pages. And the Moonstone, which depending on which version you had, I, mine had about 460 pages. Those, I read four big books in January. I'm really excited that I read four big books in January and I got them all finished. That's kind of like my three challenges that I'm focused on. Yes, the Moonstone was all three of them. Pocket Full of Rye was two of them. We're going to ignore that because that's just what we do. We ignore things like that. Um, in addition to those though, I read more books. So let me, let me start. Okay, January 2nd. <laughs> On January 2nd, I finished Agatha Christie's The Adventure of the Christmas Pudding, which was a uh, compilation of short stories by Agatha Christie. Most of them were Hercule Poirot and one was Miss Marple. After that, I read In the Cube by David Alexander Smith. I read The Graveyard Book, Volume 1, which we talked about already. Pocket Full of Rye, we talked about already. I listened to How to Read Literature Like a Professor, A Lively and Entertaining Guide to Reading Between the Lines, which really was interesting. And I'm trying to apply some of that to my reading to be more of a critical uh, reader, but uh, I'm not being very good at it right now. Uh, Slay It With Flowers, I also listened to. This is a flower shop mystery by Kate Collins. Live and Let Die by Ian Fleming. Brown Girl Dreaming by Jacqueline Woodson, which is a uh, book of poetry and verse. I love that. I listened to it and I believe it's read by the author, but I could be wrong on that. But it was just so well done and so well read. It just, it was, I loved it. I did. I gave it four stars. Um, a Stitch in Time, which is a needlecraft mystery that I did not like all that much. I think I'm done with that series. I, I really do. I, I just, I'm wasting my time there. My dog's whining. Cushiel's Dart, talked about by Jacqueline Carey. Uh, Nobody Cries at Bingo. And I did a short little read this book about Nobody Cries at Bingo because it's a diverse read. It is uh, written by a native woman and it's about her childhood basically growing up on the reserve, but it's not, it's a novel, it's not a, um, what do you call it? Nonfiction. It's not a memoir. <sighs> I haven't drank enough today. Water or alcohol. Dandelion Wine by Ray Bradbury. I believe I've already posted the review I did of that. I really liked that one as well. Four star, not what I expected from Ray Bradbury at all. Historian by Elizabeth Kostova, Devil in a Blue Dress by Walter Mosley, which was one of my Diversathon picks, and I loved it. Orange Mint and Honey, again, a Diversathon pick, and that was by Carlene Bryce. The Moonstone by Wilkie Collins. <laughs> Have you heard The Moonstone enough in this? Uh, the Three Body Problem, which is the first book in the Remembrance of Earth's Past series by... Liu Shizhen, I don't think I'm saying that right, and then on the very last day, the 31st, I finished listening to The Call of the Wild by Jack London. Um, so yeah, I read 18 books. and I don't know what to say about that, <laughs> other than some of them were very short. I listen to a lot of them when I ride the bus. I was hoping this year, with the bigger books that I'm reading, to slow down my reading pace and focus a bit more on some better stories, which is why I'm focusing on the big books. I have some more picked for February, and I want, I don't want to have a year again where I'm like, I read 250 books, because that's just goofy. Um, so I want to read some more meaningful literature. I want to slow down. I want to be able to give you guys some meaningful reviews of books you actually want to read, not just, um, Cozy mystery after cozy mystery after cozy mystery. So that's kind of where I'm sitting right now. That's what I read. And I thought I had a decent month. I really enjoyed the big books that I read. I've done um, not enough reviews of these books. So I will be coming with more reviews. Let me know what you think of them. I'm going to have another drink. I'm going to wish you a good day because I don't know what time it is where you are. I know it's evening where I am, but that doesn't mean you're going to watch this in the evening. Oh, yeah. Work. 
I think part of the reason why I'm reading as much as I, or I read as much as I did this month is because work has been extremely stressful. So when I'm not at work, I'm really using literature as an escape. I am totally using literature as an, as an ex escape. And uh, news I got today, it's not going to get any better because um, my boss quit. So uh, basically, yeah, I am convinced that I probably should have left. I probably should have been sending my resume out and I haven't been, but for now I don't want to jump ship and make a rash decision. I'm going to see how things play out over the next few months, um, but I don't see my life getting any less stressful, so I'm probably going to continue burying myself in fiction and non-fiction and trying to make myself feel better about life, the universe, and everything. Have a great day, thank you for watching, and I hope you come back and watch some more. Bye.